Well, everyone, welcome. Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it forever. Those of you who are joining these two today, we thank you for coming. A marriage is only as strong as the people you surround yourself with. And today, on their special day, they surround themselves with you. That says a lot about who you are to them as a couple. I love your patience when I've been talking to computers all day and forget how to communicate with humans. I love your adventure spirit to the point where you follow me down a ski run that's not that bad or trust your life to a piece of gear that's totally bomber. I love your drive to actually do good in this world instead of joining the corporate machine like the rest of us. I love how prepared you are, like how you bought me a nice little vow book for me to use and I'm reading my chicken scratch off a piece of paper here because I forgot it at home. I love how much of a nerd you are and the way you immerse yourself in the story even if it's a bad vampire romance novel. You are without a doubt the most caring, driven, and funny person I know. <laughs> you deserve every good thing that happens to you, and I can't put into words how proud I am to you, of you. <laughs> and to call you mine. It is my hope that you already know all of these facts, but in the event that you should forget, Ian, I vow to remind you of all the ways in which you are brave, better, and the best. I vow to love you first thing in the morning when you're feeling a bit prickly, because I know on the days when my thorns are sharp, you will forgive me. From the first day, we have been in awe of you. That is your very first day on this earth. Um, your personality shines in everything you do, from your one-armed crawl, to nervous baby, to old man walk. You have been a source of laughter and inspiration. And over the years, you've grown into a beautiful young woman, and tonight, you are truly the most beautiful bride. When I saw somebody who was outgoing, kind and unapologetically herself. More importantly, I saw somebody who could beat Ian at his own game <laughs> by refusing to play by any rules but, but her own. <laughs> I think it's clear to everyone here that some things in life are just meant to be. I'm honored to have been a part of this one. You've already accomplished so much and I can't wait to be a part of whatever y'all accomplish in the future. I'm McKenna. I'm McKenna. Give you this ring to wear with joy. Give you this ring to wear with joy. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. From this day forward. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Therefore, it is both a privilege and an honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Ian, you know what to do. <laughs> that all of you took all the time to celebrate the union of these two adorable people with us tonight. So thank you all for, for traveling and, and coming to this, this wonderful event. <laughs> Ian and I went to different colleges, but I vividly remember hearing about McKenna for the first time soon after they met. Ian mentioned that he met a girl from Kappa Delta at a fraternity mixer and that they were hitting it off. I knew right away before I even met her that she was someone special just from the way that Ian talked about her. And I was right. Ian and McKenna, if I had to choose one word to describe you two, it would be adventurous. 
Your passion for life and love for the outdoors are truly inspirational.